Hey guys, Doggy San Chan, welcome to the channel. If you guys like Lost Talk as much as I do, you should go ahead and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out and it keeps you up to date with everything Lost Talk. Now with that out the way, let's hop straight into today's video. Today I want to talk to you guys about using your farm to actually make a lot of battle items so you can actually just get battle items for free and not have to buy them at all from Mario Shop or from the auction or anything. But as an example, I've been playing this game since it came out and I have yet to buy a potion off of the market for gold. I've only ever crafted them myself sometimes, bought them off the Mario Shop when Blue Crystals was a little bit cheaper. And yeah, I've made them in my stronghold for the most part. So let's just get straight to it. How to get the farm in your stronghold. I have this max roll of here for you guys. I'll leave it in the description down below. But just you need to get to level 15 on your stronghold and then unlock the first little version of the farm pretty much. So once you get it then this area of here will be unlocked and this will all be little stuff you can come and gather. Like it looks a lot different now because I have it upgraded and stuff. But initially it'll just be a farm you can come and fix stuff yourself. And that's how you can start off. But I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it right now once it is at this level where I'm at. Where you can actually just make it on the farm yeah. So you put these little things here and this will just actually generate you materials. Every day you come in here pretty much and you just click harvest all and it's going to harvest all this and it's going to actually use your life energy and it will actually use the durability on your tools so you have to repair these. These are high up because I just got a bunch of new tools now. But yeah, you just need to get that unlocked and then start leveling it up in research. You can just go through, level up all the farm stuff in your research and you'll get to this point where you can actually select. You'll actually start off, I believe, with only the first row. And then you research the next row and the next row and the next row. So you'll start unlocking these all uh, over time. I believe once you get to the bottom, the, this one is actually split into two. So you only get these two on the left and you get the two on the right eventually on like the last research. So you need to be quite high up to have it all to this. But once you get to this point, you want to put the trees on the first two over here. And then have excavating on the next two and then you want to have flowers on the rest and then mushrooms on the bottom and with this you'll be able to craft health potions so if we go over to the crafting workshop see i've got some crafting there right now would you come to the farm selection and you can actually make the battle item hp this is the best setup because those are the materials you'll use for it for the battle items to get the hp and you get 18 of the green pots that's quite a lot or you can actually just get six of the blue pots if you want it it's a little bit less than the free boxes we do get the free boxes give you 10 blue potions and the ones off mario shop i believe give you 10 as well but yeah these are really good value because obviously you're making them yourself so the materials is all free from you and then obviously you just do need to play the 29 gold but it still works out cheaper than buying them uh, i have a video separate about that it's a little bit outdated but yeah it's probably it's more or less the same and then this is the bomb items over there. That's for the bomb chest over there. The corrosive, the sleep, the destruction, and the pheromone. Use all of those pretty much except the sacred bomb. I don't think there's a real use for that. And then the grenade chest over there again. We use the flame grenades and we use the dark grenades and the warm grenades out of that. The rest we haven't figured out what those are for yet. Or we haven't come across something that actually needs those yet. But yeah, these are, this is the best. Uh, the way I have it set up over here on my farm is the best to get HP potions and to get bomb chests crafting all the time but if you want it to be just for hp this apparently my friend suggested is the best way to do it for hp potion so you want one on the wood and then one on excavating and you want the rest all on flowers and then you also want to get on your tools over here you want to get the basic reward bonus you see it's one of the effect that you can just craft these tools over and over until you get them or just buy the green versions and you only get the one line one effect get basic reward bonus because they'll give you more materials when you actually go and gather it so yeah this is the best setup if you actually just want to make hp potions so you get the tree excavating the rest of it all flowers and then over here you see there because those are the ones that you'll always be lacking you'll be lacking these flowers and you'll be lacking this log of here and thanks to my buddy soon for helping me out with this he actually sent me these and told me all about this so shout out to soon for the help with this and then this, what I have in the background, yeah, is my setup. This is how I like to do it to maximize for bombs and for potions. Since the, the flowers mainly are for the healing potion chests, and then the mushrooms are to get the bomb chests. Because if we go back to the crafting workshop over there, you can see the grenades, they use mushrooms, and as well, the bomb selection use a little bit of mushrooms as well. But you can pretty much just go through there as you see fit. This is, there's no like real one way to do it, right? You can pretty much do it however you want on the farm. So just set it up or you could even start just to stockpile a little bit you could put like one line of everything so you can get wood some ore some archaeology stuff and then some foraging just to stockpile up a little bit and what you can also do with these materials you can actually use them to repair your ships as well so i know that's a little bit off topic but yeah you can repair your ships 
with the materials that you actually farm in the stronghold. So overall, the stronghold farm is really, really useful. Just get this all set up. I will leave all of these links down below for you guys. There's a farming guide or like the stronghold guide from Maxroll to go through it. I do have a video on my channel as well on how to level up your stronghold pretty fast. Just craft yourself a bunch of stuff that costs silver and then you can actually level up your stronghold fast to get to level 15 and beyond to get the farm. And then get your own little factory going like this of potions and stuff like that. I think my friend, I believe soon said every day you can get uh, two to four boxes per day of the healing potions. That's quite a lot. You can actually craft it every day once you get this up, set up and going. Save your gold, use better items. Don't be that guy, always have better items and just make them yourself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped. If it did, please drop a like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Augie okay, saying out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the